Morning, everybody. And hello to everybody watching on playback. I hope you're all well. Let me just get up so I can see who's in here. Oh, hello. Hi, Marge. Hi, Caroline. Just wait for people to come in. I'm a few minutes early. Well, a minute early, maybe. You can't see my... I'm going to have to adjust my camera a bit. So it points the other way. That way, that way. Right, there we go. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> How is everyone today? I hope you're well. The weather's warming up a bit here. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> is it wet and cold where you are? The, it's... Um, we had rain in the night here, and it was a bit miserable when I first woke up this morning, but there's blue sky out there. It's a bit windy, though. Hmm. Hi, Kate. <laughs> All right. Today, I'm painting some roses, but they're not normal roses. They're, um, I did a picture on the waiting holding card, but I can't show you at the minute. <laughs> They're, um, they're called For Your Eyes Only and they're a, a rose bush that I planted for my mum and it's the anniversary of her death today, boo-hoo. But um, she loved um, James Bond 007 and all that and I saw this rose bush and it was just like, yeah, I've got to get that and every year it blooms so beautifully and it's a bit like a dog rose, it's not a full English fluffy rose, whatever you like to call them, so it's more of a wild dog rose sort of thing, but it has, it's pink with a bright pink centre and yellow frongal bits, I don't know what they are, <laughs> hi Diane, hi Terry, so if I haven't said hello to everybody, I think I sort of got there, hi Cheryl, <laughs> I forget who I've said hello to and who I haven't, so do forgive me. Anyway, I'm going to start this. If you can see my palette here, I've got this, because they're quite pink, quite bright pink. And um, this is my pink. So I've cut the tube open. And this, I couldn't squeeze any more out of it. This is a Mission, and it's called Bright Opera. And it's one of my favouritest pinks. But it's really hard to get hold of, so... You have to like buy the whole set to get that colour, which is really annoying. It's my favourite colour <laughs> of the pinks. But I will be using what's left of that in there. So always cut your tubes up if you use tubes. That's another hint because there's always 10 tonnes left in there and there's loads down in that little hole there. So I cut them open. Anyway, I'm going to start. <laughs> yes, I've got clean water. <laughs> yeah, very clean water. This is a uh, a block, a square block of watercolour paper. It's a, I have to say this because I always get asked, um, £140 cold pressed. And my brush is a Sea White Sable brush number 12 round that I'm using today. So this holds loads of water and I'm going to do a nice blobby rose I don't know what's going to turn out like because I've never painted these before and I struggle with roses but they're not rosy roses if you know what I mean hi Chloe hi Jane I don't think I've said hello hi Joan did I say hello <laughs> the opera rose uh, Joan wants to know who we are but mission I'll hold it up so you can see the is it mission paints mission gold or something like that it's called Bright Opera, and I also like the Windsor & Newton, um, I'm talking about paint, yeah look you can see it's the colour, no that's not the right one, where's my, I need to cut open my Windsor & Newton one as well, I've got a Windsor & Newton Opera, I can't find it now, I had it a second ago, that's not it is it, yeah that one. But I need to cut that tube open. That's a nice colour too. So I use those pinks for pink flowers a lot. Anyway, I'm going to start. <laughs> Yay, clean water. So you're not going to be able to see what 
the water I put down. See, I do have dirty water for a reason. <laughs> these these roses are really pinky, um, sort of orangey pink. So I'm going to put, I don't know, but this opera rose is so bright. It's like luminous pink. These um, roses have like just five petals. And then they have the darker pink in the middle. So I've got several pinks here, so I'm not sure what. I'm just going to blob it in. See what happens. I don't like Daniel Smith opera. I've got it in here somewhere. Have I? Yeah, the opera one. It's not as pink. Pink, pink. Where is it? No, that's in a quidone one. Is that one? Maybe I haven't got Daniel Smith opera. No, I haven't got that one. Don't tell me I've got to buy more paint. No, I've got to use up what I've got. <laughs> I'm stingy. I've got to use what I've got. And I'm going to mix in a bit of Naples yellow for the pinkiness, but it will dull it down a bit. But just mix it in because I like how it, how delicate it looks. They're much brighter, really, these roses. And I've also got some, what's that red called, this one? I've forgotten. <laughs> it's called, um, what's the red everyone goes, no, you shouldn't be using that when you're a watercolourist. I say, no. Crimson, that a azillion crimson. That's the, God, I'm throwing things everywhere. Azillion crimson. The watercolour snobs say you're not supposed to use that colour for some reason. But I like it. <laughs> Jackson's got Mission Bright Opera. Oh, okay, I'm going to be on that later. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is going to turn out like. It's like I'm just sort of blobbing pink, five petaled flowers around. I like the zillion crimson because it does that, it pushes all the other colours away, and I like it. Blob out the middle of that. It does have like. Mm. some of the colour because they're not that that pink well maybe they can be I love painting pink flowers <laughs> pink and yellow gorgeous <laughs> bit of that gamboge in there you can't you can't really see the flower shapes at the minute I've got a pink pencil nice bright pink one but well, it's not bright pink it looks bright pink on there but it's not there's my other one which is a nice bright pink one oh well sad time I've only got oh this is one I don't think you can buy these ones anymore I'm forgetting what they're by because I've used them so much do some scribbles. Is that light pink? I can't do a painting without scribbles. <laughs> I'll probably come in and do some like negative painting around them so you can actually see where the petals are. But doing this sort of separates out. There's five. One, two, three. I know we're not botanically correct. What brand is the Gambage? Um, Daniel Smith. Um, so let's do a bud, a bud, bud of mine. They haven't bloomed yet, the roses. It's just that the buds are all there. I'll have to do another garden tour because things are starting to go a bit crazy out there. I'm going to add some darker because they do. 
I have darker bits. I did notice that on the little buds, the blinky green flies, the, I'm having big trouble with green fly in my garden at the minute. It, they've totally desiccated, desiccated, decimated, or whatever the word is. <laughs> God, I can't speak. You know what I mean? I feel like that woman out of, um, God, I can't think, the Vicar of Dibley, the one who gets her words all muddled. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Um, they've totally killed off one of my lupins and then I've got, um, I saw yesterday, I was like trying to get them off, that they'd gone on the new shoots of my rose and I was like, no, go away, <laughs> get off. So I don't know if, because we've had a nice, sort of, gosh, my. This brush, I don't like this brush as much as the one that I've been using for flowers because um, it doesn't go in such a nice point. Maybe I've worn it down too much. They have like really nice dark green leaves. I'll just blob that in there. Rose leaves are difficult to do because they, <laughs> they've got like spikiness to them. It's hard to get it when you haven't got a brush that goes into a point. Anyway, I would try my best. I could change my brush really, couldn't I? But that's just too much hassle. Jan's asking, is the paint by me jello? Um, no, I haven't heard of that, so no. <laughs> I've got Mission Gold. And Daniel Smith and Windsor and Newton here. Blotting paper. I just want to get a little bit because I want to like make the veins in the flowers. I'm gonna put a bit of bleach while I'm thinking. I have run out. No, it's not good. No, I haven't. In the middle. He likes the bleach. <laughs> just add so much interest. I might do another flower down here. I'm just blotting out with a bit of blotting paper. The like middle of the stem of the one of my little tricks of the trade. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah I'm gonna I haven't looked really for more paint. I will look. I will look on the Jackson website. <laughs> I'm excited now. I'm just going to go and paint and um, spend far too much money on this going to be a bright one here. Thank you, Kerry. It's just my roses are lovely. <laughs> And get the dark middle, so it's really dark around there. That's they, they sort of look like eyes, I suppose, for your eyes. Oh, I don't know. This one hasn't gone to plan, but never mind. This one looks more like it, <laughs> but it's quite good when people don't know what you're drawing, trying to paint. <laughs> Blot it out there, to blotch. Oh no, I'll just squeeze my brush everywhere. Right. Let's 
squeaky chair. Um, yellow in the middle. I'll do this one bright. Add some more stems and things up here, I think. Needs it. Ooh, that's bright yellow. I surprised myself when I put um, mixed colours on my palette because <laughs> they're all mixed together. <laughs> yeah. So you get unexpected surprises or happy accidents as, um, what's his name, Bob, Mr Ross says. Stick a bit of blue in there because they're a bit green. Bleach. Need some bleach. That's not got any in it. I keep trying to do a painting without using bleach. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, I like the way that's done that. <laughs> Let's do some more little leaf here. Don't look like rose petals, not rose petals, rose leaves, because I haven't got the spikiness to them. Go spiky. So they do a bit. That's my bit. Of... Diane's asking, is my bleach slightly diluted or quite diluted? Um, I've got no idea. <laughs> I just whack a bit of bleach in and then add some water to it. I suppose what I do, if, you, if I go by this, I'm not person for measuring. I'd fill it up to there. So I suppose that's a third of bleach and then fill the bottle up with water. But then again, when I sort of starting to run out, I just go and stick more bleach in it. So it's not always, it doesn't really matter how much you, you use, I don't think. But just dilute it a bit. I suppose you don't even have to dilute it. I don't know. I'm trying to make these look a bit more like um, rose petals. Rose, not petals. Rose leaves. <laughs> the yellow, um, I've got here is uh, Daniel Smith. Can Gamboge, and that is Daniel Smith Hansa yellow light. I think that's the yellows. I've got that, and then I've got another yellow up here, which I've got no idea what that one is. Um, green, green pencil. I'm gonna come in and add a bit more detail to the center of the flowers. That I've lost the middle of that one. I'm going to add some more detail to the middle of those. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, Lisa, sometimes I use, um, that flash cleaner, flash with bleach, and I just stick that in there. Oh, got blue on that. I don't like the way that's. Um, someone asked me uh, on the questions if you can paint over the bleach. Um, you can. It, um, when, once it's dry, you can paint over it. It doesn't really affect the the um, paint. For some reason, I don't know, maybe bleach doesn't work when it's dry. I've got like half coloured roses, rose leaves, I don't like it. <laughs> A 
having trouble with my leaves today, but I'm just going to fiddle around too much. Just adding some darker, like shadowy. I don't like this brush. Yeah, it must be an old one that I've picked up because it hasn't got a nice point to it, and I can't find my other brush. don't like that. I'm going to, you're going to see me do something strange now. I need a smaller brush. <laughs> Where are they? I can't reach them. Come here. Not that one. I'm going to go back to my old faithful, this thing. It's still got more of a point on it than that other one. This is a bit of indethrine blue mixed with another blue that I don't know what it is. I'm just going to add some dark bits to the leaves here and there. And the stem doesn't look weird. Right, now I'm going to try and... Um, make this, let me just put a bit of yellow in the middle of this flower. They have very um, dotty, a bit like an enemies. So, oh, but I'm going to come in that and do that with my um, Posca pen. I'm going to try and knock back this flower, this one a bit, to make it look like it's a bit in the shade. So I'm just going to use like a purpley, grey, colour that I've sort of mixed up. Dirty palette colour. <laughs> you can't mix colours. So it's just picking up a few colours from my palette. So I want it like a slightly bit darker. So it's purpley mud colour. Posca pen time. Still haven't got the dark, 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 dark bit. It's a bit wet, really, for a Posca pen, but it smudges in. I will, when this is dry, I'll come in with a tiny bit of dark to go around the centres just to. Um, Give it a bit of depth, but it's a bit wet to do that in a minute, so I've got to wait for it to dry. So I'll just splodge some splodgy dots around. It's not quite dry yet. Ooh. Now I was thinking of doing. Um, a background to this in one of those um, thingy colours. I might do that and then it might dry by the time I get finished doing that. So I'm going to use a um, gouache again. Put the lid on that and then the centres might dry by the time I finish this. I'm just going to, I'm going to paint round it with this um, pastel marine colour. So just, I've just stuck it on a bit of cardboard here. A bit like I did with my birds the other day. So it's going to have a flat background. Where it's wet, it'll probably splodge splodge out a bit but I'm not too worried about that. 
might make the leaves pop a bit, <laughs> the petals on the Yay for gu gouache. I do like using it at the minute as a background. <laughs> I can even make my rose leaves look rose leafily, <laughs> leafily, because <laughs> I make up words. What's that, Chloe? You ordered some pink lines running through the pastel words, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and those colours, it looks quite, I quite like that, those colours together, they look cool. Joan's asking me if I've got had any problems with bleach making holes in the paper after a year or more. No, I haven't. I found a painting that I had done at college the other day, and so that must be like over 20 years old, and I'd use bleach, I'd, and it wasn't even on good quality paper, and there was no problem whatsoever. It stayed exactly the same. And I'm never really bothered, really. If <laughs> I just like the effects that it has at that point, but I suppose you have to think about such things if you're selling paintings. But it, it seems to not have an effect on the paper at all. I think once the bleach is dry, it stops reacting, if you know what I mean. I stick all different things on my paper <laughs> and um, I've never ever had a problem with it, anything sort of eating into the paper or anything. This doesn't make up the shape of the petals better. <laughs> Let's go around this little bud at the top here. And I can also paint over my blobby mistake that I made up here through my fat stem. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've got a hi Susan. Susan's just asked me is there a reason I paint the background last? Um I, I said this um someone asked me the same question the other day. Um because I don't ever plan to do a background really and then I just thought it might look nice. 
So no, there's no reason, no rhyme or reason, because I never plan what my painting is going to look like exactly. I just paint and then I think, oh, actually, that would look really nice with a gouache background or something. And when I paint my poppy paintings, I, some, I usually do the background first. Oops, this is all smidgy in. Doesn't matter. Let's go around these ones. So this background is an afterthought. <laughs> Quite therapeutic just painting around this. Getting there. <laughs> I'm glad it says therapeutic what you watching. And <laughs> I always think people get bored watching me paint around things. <laughs> Oops. It's not quite dry there, so it's all then into the back one that look last bit I'm getting bored of this now it's my very neat background not it's giving my brush a big rinse out my dog's quiet this morning yes he is he's gone back to bed I think <laughs> He's been told off by neighbours. I got a letter. You probably knew. <laughs> so I'm just scribbling. I just want to make this is still really wet in the middle, but I wanted to make um, middles a bit more depth in them because they have this these yellow. I don't know what they're called. The pollen bits. Yeah, I like choosing the music for the playback. Sometimes I get it wrong, but it's hard to find the music because of the copyrights. I'd have like the music I like, but they always get done with the copyrights and you can't, they won't play in different countries and all that rubbish. So um, I try and try and choose one that hasn't got a copyright to it. Now I've got a dark pencil here, so I'm gonna go with yeah, stamens. I'm going to go in with the dark colour just to, it's like a ready brown. <sighs> to give it a little bit of depth. I love my yellow Posca pen, Chloe. It comes in useful for many things, especially if you paint a lot of flowers. And the pure watercolorists will go, oh, you 
noises. <laughs> I don't care. I think it looks nice. Anyway, that's sort of finished, I think. I could fiddle around for ages, but I'm not going to because I've been painting for like half an hour. But I've just added a little depth in the middles. And there we go. But it needs to dry a bit more for me to do a little bit more detail in the middle. But I probably won't play around with that much more. Yeah, Lisa, mixed media rocks. Clove is asking what do I have blooming in my garden. And not much is out at the minute. I give it another couple of weeks of warmer weather and things will be going crazy. I am going to do another... Um, garden video soon yeah. anyway thank you everybody for joining me and i will see you tomorrow hopefully <laughs> bye have a lovely day